So hello, hi everyone. Today we are going to see how to download a satellite imagery using EOS Earth Observing System. So go to the tab and just type EOS.com or you can just type as a land viewer and just give enter. You can see this is a so you can see that uh, EOS is a cloud computing system through which a lot of analysis, remote sensing analysis can be done. You can just store the data, you can, you can use the algorithms and uh, just uh, avail a lot of information from the satellite imagery as well as you can download it. There are a lot many options. So till now they are offering four tools. One is a land viewer in which we can just uh, Visualize the topography of the earth. We can just download the satellite imagery and uh, it can be saved in a lot of formats. They are, uh, they are giving around uh, three sets of formats for downloading the data. And you can see the EOS storage uh, here. You can just uh, store the data in cloud itself. You don't need to download it and you can process the data here. Raster and vector, you can just preview it, you can crop it and uh, can have a lot of format changing tools as well. So US processing is a cloud based solution for geospatial analytics uh, using uh, uh, various algorithms. You can just uh, uh, gather a lot of information from the satellite imagery. US vision it's, a, it's also a cloud based tool visual analysis with the vector data for a spatial data processing and data analysis etc. So today we are going to see how to download the satellite imagery from EOS. So for that just click land viewer. You can separately just uh, open the Google and just type the uh, land viewer and just uh, select the first option EOS and just you can come to the same website. So you can see on my uh, Left hand side there is a lot of uh, options available from a search bar to uh, inputting the area of interest, uploading our area of interest using shape files, a lot of options and you can see the zoom in zo zoom out option as well as you can just uh, draw a rectangular circular AOI and just gather information and uh, you can just measure the distance from one point to another point. And this is for identifying area. Just click on any area. You'll be getting the notification about the location and the name of the area. This is a uh, toggle labels. And this is for visualizing uh, the map in a normal Google format or in a terrain visualization or a satellite image in view. So on the right hand side, you can see the data sets available. This is uh, having a lot of data sets available various satellites uh, you can see here uh, it starts from the Landsat 5 sorry uh, it starts from the Landsat 4 MSS Landsat uh, 4 TM to Landsat 8 Sentinel data Modis data there are a lot of data available you just need to select the data which we are going to download so today I'm going to download a uh, I am going to go with a sentinel data so you can just uh, input the date uh, that is a range of date from this to this or otherwise you can just uh, go to any date and just download it you can see the option available here you can just reduce the cloud coverness and avail uh, data which is having less cloud coverness as well as the sun elevations this is uh, really new to this so sun elevation data with that we can uh, deliver a lot of information about the satellite imagery you can just uh, select the ratio how much you need it or uh, so the next is that we are going to download the data for that just uh, type the area you need to download so I'm going to download for Mumbai so another thing is just uh, if you if you're new to this uh, EOS just sign up or if you are if you are already using it, just uh, sign it and just
so just sign in you need to just register with your email id and you'll be delivered with a password from which we, are, we can download the data directly without any problem so right now they are offering around uh, three sets of uh, uh, plans one is for free users one is for free uh, second is for pro pro users another one is for companies so in uh, free users we can just download a uh, 10 uh, 10 satellite images per day in in pro version it will be unlimited so we're going to go with the pro version itself or if you need you can just have the free version of it so after that just select the imagery and just visualize it how the image looks like this is a really really uh, high resolution image with this uh, 10 meter resolution or if you need to download much more uh, resolution data means you can just go for uh, some other sets of satellite imageries the sentinel 2 is really good in the resolution so the next thing is that I am going to show you how to download the satellite imagery so I have just selected the imagery and you can uh, just uh, go and uh, visualize other images which is uh, with reference to the date etc so there are around 99 images available in this data sets so after selecting this image go to the option download you can see here this is uh, for downloading the scene so you can uh, see here the natural colors has been given defaultly that is band 4 band 3 band 2 and as well as you can just select the resolution of the satellite imagery you can uh, just uh, select the high resolution image if you need a low resolution means you can just select it and the size of the data will be reduced as well so in the below you can see the format is available that is uh, jpeg kmz and geotiff so i'm going to go with uh, geotiff so this is a resolution which i'm going to download my data this is uh, available in pro pro versions or else it will be uh, in free users it will be around in a small and medium size so you can see there is an option called as crop by extent you can use it and just uh, select the area how much you need and you can just download that data it, it will be reducing the amount of uh, data processing and uh, time as well so you can see uh, in the next column you can see the analytics from there you can just uh, you can go and just select the bands which you need to download there are around uh, 12 bands here with the metadata you can just uh, download the band which you need separately or together you can see the merge band with same resolution is also been available so now I'm going to not use it just uh, uh, I'm going to get my data which is uh, up to this extent using the crop by extent option so you can see here there is uh, indices available and uh, defaultly we, we are having uh, around uh, ndvi ndw ndwi and ndsi uh, if you are going to do it when the with the other remote sensing software it really takes time to deliver this kind of data but uh, with this uh, eos we are uh, we are really really benefited by reducing the time and reducing the work for the research as well as for the studies as well so you can see there is a option called as band combination here you can visualize the ndvi agriculture a lot of data is available here you can just download this data by clicking here or otherwise you need the satellite imagery you can just go with it so it's uh, really a useful tool for us you can see every option is available here ndvi atmospheric penetration lot of option is available you have to just select it and just download it so now i'm going to show you how to download this just click that option download and it will be starting download so you can see the download has been started which will be notified here in the download manager you can share this image and you can also see the scene comparisons with two imageries what all the difference has been uh, done and all you can see here and you can see the download has been started here I hope that you have learned something from this video this is a really useful tool so for more videos do subscribe